Codebenders, have you ever had that click when everything makes sense? Like the optimal human experience, this glimpse of internal peace where it's as if the whole world stops and you reach the maximum internal peace. Those moments are rare and they're very hard to catch, but there was one specific day where I was able to capture it. I was coming back from my kickboxing practice, so I showered and I was just alone for just a brief moment of time. I was eating and I was thinking, it's actually crazy. Every major category of my life was in order. My body, my health, my mind, the projects that I'm working on, the things that I'm doing, my relationship with God, the growth that I have, everything clicked, everything made sense. I had this feeling of peace and contentment. And the other feeling I had is this feeling of growth, like wanting to grow and become better and better. And after this, the thing that I realized is actually this feeling is extremely similar to the feeling I used to have when I was playing video games. And you guys heard that metaphor before that, oh, like life is like a video game, like blah, blah, blah. But I want to go actually a lot deeper than this because this is way too basic. What I realized is something that actually did blow my mind. And I want to ask you a question. Why do you think video games are so addictive for us humans? The answer that I came to is actually because video games are fundamentally very similar to religion. You're probably thinking now, what the heck am I talking about that I've been coding for too long and I've lost my mind. But hear me out for a second. I'm going to explain you something that is going to really open your mind. Because game developers, they're smart. They know what they're doing. They understand human psychology very well. And if you think about it throughout humanity's history, what has been a driving force that has motivated humans to change their life, to shape societies and civilizations? It has been religion. Religion has been this driving force that is constant for millions of years throughout humanity's history. Every civilization, every generation always had the religion that played a major role. So game developers, obviously, they realize this. They, it's intrinsically part of human motivation, and that's why it's incorporated in games. But I'm going to ask you another question now. What do you think was the very first game invented? Do you know? The first game is the original game, is the game we're all playing, is the game of evil versus good, of paradise versus hell. It's the game that we all started with the beginning of humanity. And let me actually draw a very clear picture because right now everything I'm saying probably sounds kind of crazy. So let's look at it in a very concrete manner. Imagine that you're starting this game and all your stats are at zero, right? Your intelligence, your strength, your health, your resources, your money, your charisma, everything is at zero. You're just a baby. The goal of the game is to get to that dreamland, the dream destination. This is paradise. This kind of like maybe this gold rush where all the dreams come true and everything that you can dream of, it's all there. The lost state, the loser state is the abyss. It's hellfire. This is where you don't want to be. So the game automatically sets the, the setting, right? There is the win state and there is the lose state. And you start at zero. You start neutral. Throughout the game, as you start and as you go in this journey, your goal is to level up your skill set, is to level up all the different skills that you have so that you can get ready and get to that dream state. Because the path to the dream state is not easy. It's a path that is filled with obstacles that you'll have to overcome. And some obstacles, they're just the natural obstacles that the level has in the game. But other obstacles have enemies that come to attack you. And that's the equivalent of Satan. They lay traps for you. They lay extra difficulty to make you fall. And as you go through all those difficulties, as you do good, as you do good deeds, you increase your points and you get closer and closer to that dream objective where you want to get. And this game is an open world. There is literally an infinite ways of playing it. There is an infinite amount of variations of life paths that you can take to reach that goal. And for you as a codebender, the path that you're going to take is the path of the digital warrior. And the weapons that you're going to take is code. And use those weapons to go over those obstacles, to solve problems, to build cool stuff, to build stuff that serves value to society. And then that's going to help you level up and climb and get to the dream state where you want to be in. You know that enemies will come after you. The matrix is going to try to stop you. From the moment you start learning how to code, you're going to start feeling the first level of difficulties because the system, it doesn't make it easy for you to reach this, to master the art of coding, right? And then once you succeed at this level and you go to the next one, 
all your difficulties and tragedies are gonna fall on you. Tech layoffs, the AI revolution taking over the economy, and you will have to go through all of them to level up and become a true cut bender. Once you realize that this is all the same psychology, all of it, religion, video games, human motivation, all of it is connected. You can start to use game theory to your advantage to play the game better. You choose the character that you want to become. You choose the objective that you want to reach, the path that you want to take, the most optimal path that you can take for your character. You pick up the weapons that you want to pick up in this journey, in this world where you're in. And then you go for it relentlessly. In a video game, even if you lose 20 times, you're not going to just quit. You're going to keep on pushing, keep on going until you win. That's how it works. There are infinite ways to customize your character, to win the levels, to go through side missions, to explore paths that have been never explored before in the game. This is the most important game that you will ever play. This is the grand game that we're all in. And to win this game, you need to start moving. This video right here is going to help you with that. Young Bender, I highly recommend you check it out.